Welcome back everyone, this is Urux Hollow finally with this car's guide for Shadow of War. This is something that I've been working on pretty much since the game came out, but a few things have made it really hard to finally get this done. Before we start, I have a post on Reddit right now that covers the information of this guide in more detail. This post will continue to get updated as new discoveries are made, so be sure to check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. So now let's begin. There are different kinds of scars in Shadow of War. I'd like to sort them in three categories. The first one is common scars. This can happen without affecting your captain's title or personality. Next are special scars. This change your captain's title and personality. An example is the Stormbringer. These have requirements and their availability varies from captain to captain. Lastly, we have legendary scars. These completely change what your captain looks like, alters their personality and even body type. They also upgrade your captain to legendary, which means you can get some nice gear or a powerful follower. For this guide, I will only be talking about common and legendary scars. Special ones are also plentiful but equally hard to get because of their requirements. So I might show this to you in the future, similar to my legendary scars video that I uploaded some time ago. So let's dive into the first part of the guide. How to make captains return and get scars. Every captain has a chance to cheat death, even those from story missions as well as those that you just met. Additionally, captains early in a playthrough have a much higher chance by default. We can use this to get captains with scars very easily. Forcing enemies to cheat death works almost exactly the way it did in Shadow of Mordor. You need to have had a significant amount of interactions with them. The easiest and fastest way to do it is to let a captain defeat you. So find the captain you want to set up and have him kill you twice. Getting humiliated also works. This will push their chances of coming back to almost 100%. Only if you get extremely unlucky your captain will not come back. Once that is done, just kill your captain in whatever way you want, depending on what scar you want him to have. After killing him, all you have to do is wait 20 to 25 minutes and your captain will ambush you. If you happen to recruit someone who killed you twice and they die, they will also come back. There are more ways to have allies cheat death, but this involves some glitching or spending many hours with them in the open world. It is easier to just recruit someone who you have had enough interactions with. Now, I will warn you that there are plenty of annoying bugs and some limitations with this feature. Most of these I will elaborate on my reddit guide so this video doesn't get too long, but I do have to warn you about the most important point. This trick only works for a limited time in a playthrough. If you have had many captains cheat death already, chances are you can no longer force anyone to do so. Usually this trick stops working when you have had around 5 captains come back. After that, you will need way more interactions and good RNG to get captains with scars. So again, please check my written guide to learn about other bugs and things you should avoid doing. Now, let's go over the wide variety of scars in the game. As a reminder, these are only the common and legendary scars. I have two captains that are helping me out with this. Nakra the Massive and Aslar the Humongous. Let's start with the face cuts. There are three variants for Uruks and four for Ologs. You can get these from any kinds of kills, such as sword hits, stealth kills, falling, betrayals and a few others. The next ones are these lashes. These are very similar to the face cuts, but have different requirements. For Uruks, you need to let them die in a rescue mission. And for Ologs, you need to kill them with beasts, particularly grouse or ghouls. There is only one variant for Uruks and four for Ologs. Now, we will take a look at the Bruce Discar. You can get these by throwing captains off ledges. 
The variant exists for Urux, but sadly, Olux cannot be thrown off ledges, so it doesn't work for them. The next one is the Faceless Scar. This one is really hard to get, you need to abandon a follower in a rescue mission, but what makes it harder is that trying to force this one doesn't always work, and the captain dies forever most of the time. There is one variant for Urux and one for Olux. Next, we have the Exposed Brain. Two variants exist for both Urux and Olux, and the requirements for these are the exact same as with Cuts. Moving on is the missing ice car. Only one variant exists for both Urux and Olux, and the only way to get it is to shoot someone with health shot. It doesn't matter where you shoot them, they will get this scar. The next one is the betrayal scar. There are two variants for Urux, and it doesn't work for Olux. If your Urux is killed with melee attacks, he will get the first variant, and if he is killed by ranged attacks, he will get the second one. Moving on to elements, we have the Burned Scar. There are three variants for Urux, and for some reason it doesn't work for Olux. These scars can appear as just face burns, or even full body burns. Next is the Poison Scar. We have two variants for both Urux and Olux. This scar will sometimes malfunction and the body deformities will disappear and come back randomly between encounters. The next scar is Wraith. You can get this one by killing captains with Wraith powers or Curse. Only one variant exists for both Urux and Olux. Moving on to amputations, we have the arm scars. There are three variants for Urux and one for Olux. You can get these with brutal executions. Then there is the leg amputation. There is one variant for Urux and one for Olux. However, it is impossible to force Olux to come back with this as rigging them to return makes it impossible to get executions that cut off their leg. Next, there is the Iron Mask. This one is probably the most common. There is only one variant for both Urux and Olux, and the requirements are the same as the face cuts or the exposed brain, but can also result from the stacking of two scars. The next one is the Back Head. Only one variant for both Urux and Olux, and this one results from a stacking of two different scars. Now, a couple of unconventional scars. The first one is the Brian Scar. This one only exists for Urux, and it happens when one of your followers is captured in a mission. And then there is the Shame Scar, which happens by shaming or shunning captains. These two count towards stacking, and that's why I'm counting them here. Moving on to legendary scars, these are very special and completely change what your captain is about. The first one is the Flame of War, and occurs when you burn a Nuruk. They get any of the burn scars, an Executioner Sword, some Machine Armor, and get a lot of fire traits. Next, we have the Blight, the Poisoned, or the Plaguebringer. You can get this one for poisoning a Nuruk. These kinds of captains get robes and a physical appearance very different from the regular Poisoned Scar, as well as many poison traits. Moving on, there is the Machine. This one happens when you cleave a Nuruk in two, but can also happen from cutting off their limbs with some brutal executions. The next one is for dropping a Morgai fly's nest on a Nuruk. This creates of the flies or the infested. This scar can even happen if your Uruk doesn't die but flees. However, his skin will not turn white and he will not get legendary status if this happens. The next one is the Unashamed. This is a special personality for a Nuruk who refuses to accept that you shamed him and becomes stronger instead. It can happen in just one shaming, but most of the time you will need several for it to happen. Then for Olox we have the Beast. All you need for this one is to have an Olog killed by Beast. This Olog 
can have any variant of the face cuts or slashes. And lastly, we have the stitch. This one happens when you cut an Olog's head off, however, it seems there's some more to it. I had to get three captains to return before trying to get this one, otherwise my Olog would permanently die. And that covers pretty much everything. Remember to check my reddit post for more information, as it will continue to get updated with new discoveries as they come up. I hope you have found this guide useful, and as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.